Hey everybody, Anne here. Just got up, sitting on my porch, having coffee with all of you. And as you can tell, I haven't even brushed my hair yet. I had a rough night last night. That wonderful, delicious bone that Betty had, well, it disagreed with her. She went out and off to the side and started chewing on it. And she worked on it for a good while. I went out a couple hours later to try and find it to bring it inside so some animal wouldn't get it and haul it off. Well, I couldn't find it. As it turns out, she demolished that bone in a matter of, I don't know, she, she gobbled it up quick, the whole thing, and it upset her stomach. She vomited all over the tiny house, um, all over outside on my porch, and she didn't stop until she had gotten every single last bit of that bone out of her, and in all the little piles after she had thrown up, you could see the shards of the bone. And she just, she demolished it. That just goes to show you how powerful pit bull jaws can be. So I don't know. I don't think I can get her any more bones like that. Um, it was really hard. It, the good thing is, the silver lining is, when I went to the store that day, I was able to get a hold of some paper towels. <laughs> if you can believe that, all of these shells were empty. But the guy was starting to put out more boxes of it. And so he dug down into one that only had two rolls, because I don't need like 50 gazillion rolls. And so I had paper towels on me, so I was able to get it all cleaned up. But um, I was terribly worried about her because if the dogs, if, if your dog gets too big of a particle down in their tummy, you know, it can develop a, an, an obstruction. Um, it can perforate her insides and whatnot. Uh, but it seems like she got it all out last night and through the night. So um, I'm just going to watch over her kind of closely today. I am still going to try and get out there and, oh, I did I did fill out the rest of that bed. I'm not going to plan in it yet, but I'm going to see if I can get another bill bed started down there today and just see what else the day is going to bring. I don't think it's going to be sunshiny today. Um, I think it's going to be relatively cool. So I don't know, maybe I can even get a, a little bit of that insulation done. I need to get it done. I just dread it. <sighs> it's like one of those things that you really don't want to do, but you know you got to do it, so I'm going to get it done eventually. Um, so anyhow, let's just see how this day goes. Check this out. These are fresh eggs from chickens that Seth, Mr. Lucas's uh, grandson, gave me. I went over there yesterday, and uh, Seth pulled up, and he had a big hat full of them. He was going to give them all to me, but no way I was going to take them all. So I took two, and I'm going to fry these up today. I don't think I'm going to let Betty have any just quite yet, just because, well, I don't think her tummy's ready for it. But these are huge eggs. So thank you, Seth and Lena. Lena is Mr. Lucas' granddaughter-in-law, and they're just awesome, awesome folks. So, um, oh, that reminds me. i got to show you something else Mr. Lucas gave me. Look at that. Mr. Lucas dug these up right out of his yard. He said they produce really pretty flowers, big yellow flowers that get really tall. He couldn't remember the name of them, but he's going to get that for me today. So I don't know if I'm necessarily going to plant them in this tire because I know they like to spread. And I actually kind of want something out in front of the tiny house, some pretty flowers, um, because I don't have any flowers yet. So I'm going to decide where to plant these. And I don't know. I may just end up planting them in the tire. Who knows? I don't know if it's a good idea to plant these bulbs in a tire, though, so I'm going to have to think about it. But anyhow, I thought that that was a pretty cool gift. He's so awesome. There's my girl. She just looks sad. I hope her tiny tummy is feeling better. Yeah? You feeling better, sweet pea? You feeling better? You're a good girl. Eh, her nose is cold. I think it was just that bone. I think she'll be okay. The first thing I'm going to do, project-wise today, is I'm going to scout around for some logs that I think I can lift and move to make some garden beds with. So, I don't know if I can do it. Let's see. Alright, this log, I got it a little bit further off of this stack, just by kind of lifting up and pulling, trying to pull it this way. Couldn't do it. Got up on the, uh, the pile here and tried to do, you know, like a deadlift. Uh, I used to deadlift. I used to be a competitive bodybuilder, if you can believe that. But it's just too big. It's just too heavy. I was thinking maybe turning it this way so I could turn it end over end. 
but I just can't lift this by myself. So I'm gonna have to find another solution and look for some smaller logs. While I was out at the back of my property looking for suitable logs, I stumbled upon a bunch of cool things. And so here's what they are. Look at these mushrooms. They are very pretty. I don't know exactly what type they are, but I'm gonna look them up a little bit later and see what they are. When I initially saw this, I thought it was one of those fake flowers, but it's not. These are all over my property in varying stages of decay. And see, look, there's a whole bunch of them, but I just thought that they were so gorgeous. All right, I'm done gallivanting. I got these four logs, well, actually five. I'm not gonna use that last one over there. It's just too rotten. So I'm gonna see if I can get these four out to the, hopefully, garden area at the front of my property. This is gonna be hard. That one right there is really heavy, but you know what? I think I can do it. I got one, I got two, three, and four. Then cardboard, sticks, leaves, and soil. So let's kind of dig down in here and see. You know what? I think that's enough soil. I really, really do. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go through and kind of make, toss this around just a little bit because I just layered the soil and the, the compost. And I think that this is going to be enough soil because really, from what people say, they only need a couple inches of soil and there's more than a couple inches of soil until we get down to the leaves and whatnot. So um, I think that this bed is done. Yes. You feeling better, girlfriend? She hasn't thrown up all day and she's been wanting to come outside and play and she's been barking at everything. So I think she's all right. What do you think, girlfriend? Huh? What do you think? You, are, you feeling better? I love you. You're such a good puppy. Well, that's all for me for today. I am beat hauling those logs around and all that soil and whatnot. But it's a good kind of tired. And thank the Lord, it is starting to rain. I was going to go out and water that bed, but I don't have to now because it's starting to rain. And I don't have to water my plants because it's starting to rain. So I'm, I'm doubly blessed today. So I want you guys to kind of tell me what you think I should plant in those beds down there. Now I've got the onions from Mr. Lucas. And um, remember I've got the butternut squash. I've got the zucchini squash. I've got watermelon. I've got spaghetti squash and Brussels sprouts. And um, you know, I don't have to plant all of these, all of these seeds this year, but I would like to at least get a couple of those in, especially the Brussels sprouts and and especially this, the spaghetti squash and the, zoo, and the zucchini squash. I want to plant it all. I want to plant it all. But, um, and I know that the squash and the watermelon and whatnot, they tend to sprawl out. So if I'm going to do that, I would probably put them towards the outside of the bed so that I can hopefully train them to kind of go, you know, on the ground um, and maybe spread out around the ground. Hold on. Oh, you got yourself stuck, don't you? Um, same with the watermelon. Uh, the watermelon's going to take a lot of water. So, and then the, the Brussels sprouts, they get, they form massive, massive. Okay, it's raining. I got to get her out of the rain. Hang on. Back to our old self. She's out there scampering around. Or she was, but she had wrapped herself around the van. So, so but anyhow, the Brussels sprouts form very big plants. And then, of course, you can trim the leaves away eventually but they need a lot of space but they don't sprawl out all over the ground so I don't know if I could do like Brussels sprouts in the middle and then maybe squash or um, you know watermelon the sprawling plants oh mailman's delivering something I hope it's good I hope it's not a bill I don't have any bills anyhow um, so let me know what your thoughts are on that I'm gonna wait a few more days to you know until it gets warmer because it's even kind of chilly today um so let me know what you think about that and wh what you think it would be the best thing to plant down there Alrighty, well i think i've rambled on a long enough so that's all i got for you guys today see you in the next video thanks for watching everybody i hope you enjoyed the video make sure you like subscribe hit the bell and y'all have a good one